good morning, Oshkosh. It is July 26th. It's Tuesday, and we are in day two of what is looking to be a record Oshkosh. And apparently the Air Force agrees. For the moment, let's take a look at what we've got going for the day, but let's keep in mind that all of the morning briefs that we're uh, producing this week are powered by GoGo. -Go. These are the folks building that magnificent 5G network all across the country. We're gonna get some speed out of that that we haven't seen before for airborne data communications, and we're really excited about it. I've used GoGo -Go before in its previous iterations, and it was pretty slick then, but what's coming down the pike is just really slick. For the moment, let's take a look at what we can expect weather-wise. As you know, we had uh, to contend uh, with some stuff on Saturday, but for the moment, we had a really good Monday, and we're about to have a really good Tuesday. Forecast is mostly sunny with a high near 80. Southwest winds 3 to 7 miles an hour. Tonight, there's a slight chance of showers, maybe a chance of showers and thunderstorms after 1 in the morning. Mostly cloudy with a low around 65. South wind about 6. Chance of precipitation overall, 40%. We'd love to tell you that there's something really exciting going on, but today's top story is kind of a downer. Um, we lost Tom Pober as of yesterday. Uh, came as a shock. He'd been ill for a little bit, but uh, one of the great leaders of EAA, his son to the fellow who founded it, is gone. Tom was initially elected president of EAA back in 1989, taking on additional duties as EAA's chairman of the board in February of 2009 and then retired as chairman of uh, both EAA and EAA Air Venture in August 2011 and took on the role of chairman emeritus. I had a really interesting chat with uh, Tom that day. He was in the process of announcing his retirement. He came over, sought me out, clapped me on the shoulder and said, we had a pretty good time doing this, didn't we? And we did a lot of good stuff. And I said, yeah, you know, Tom, we did. Well. God bless you, guy. Uh, say hi to Paul for us. We miss you both. And yeah, great job. Okay, let's talk about something exciting and fun for a change. Dar has introduced the Kodiak 900. You remember the Kodiak? big, beefy, land anywhere, have a great time, take all your friends, heck, take half the neighborhood. Now they've got something bigger, faster, more exciting, and oh yeah, already certified. Let's take a good look at the Kodiak 900. I'm very proud today to announce the new Kodiak 900. No, it's always a lot of emotion to have a new baby, and you will see it outside. It's a fantastic baby, it's a fantastic cabin, but I think that I'm going to hand the mic to Nicola, who is going to explain in details what is this new Kodak 900 with the same idea that we did on the IBM 900 series. Well, how exciting it is to be here at Oskosh and to introduce this new uh, sister aircraft to the Kodiak family, the new Kodiak 900. This is a fabulous aircraft that is going to go way faster than its uh, sister aircraft, the K100, but also any of the competition that is available out there. We are capable of uh, max cruise of 210 knots, and that's on its own is setting the bar uh, and basically getting this aircraft in its own category. We continue to improve the product, uh, listening to our customers, making sure that we don't miss anything that they say. So we have a single port of refueling, which I can tell you is extremely handy. And uh, uh, on our flight uh, over to Oskosh, we stopped at one place and it was absolutely essential that we had the single port of refueling uh, feature on the aircraft. We can't just look at the future and say, we'll do something better later. We have to today uh, make sure that whatever we come out as a new product, we are going to do it you know, in a more efficient way. We basically are doing the same range as the Kodiak 100 on the Kodiak 900 with a much faster speed of 210 knots. We're able to carry more. It's an impressive, useful load of 3,600 pounds. And I can tell you that seeing the airplane full of people, full of luggage, and taking the picture of the luggage on the ground, 
you say, holy crap, this is big. <laughs> we also have uh, the excitement to show here at Oskosh for the first appearance, the TBM 960. But there is a big news. It is a product that is FA certified. Guess what? The other big news is this baby here is also certified. Let's take a short break to check in with all the wonderful folks paying the bills so we can bring you the Oshkosh Morning Brief every day, especially GoGo. -Go. We're powered by GoGo -Go this week. We're happy to say that uh, they're about halfway through with their 5G network install in all the towers around the country. But on top of that, we've got a bunch of other partners that we're thrilled to be working with. And we'll be right back with the Oshkosh Morning Brief. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. And we're back. Alrighty, folks. Uh, one of the things we've been excited about this year is the fact that there's been no lack of innovation, no lack of activity, despite some of the issues of the pandemic and so forth. We're seeing a lot of new airplanes, some exciting stuff up and down the line. But some of this stuff is kind of big. Let me introduce Ron Locke of Comp Air Aviation and the Comp Air 6.2. 185 knots, six seats, and it's one big mother. Ron, tell me all about it. Well, I'm not getting any smaller. That's the problem, which is all my wife's cooking. Don't blame me. Uh, no, the idea was it's just a, a big family airplane, and, and that's really what we wanted. We wanted to make an airplane that was comfortable. Um, yes, it's big, which, which you cost you a little bit in performance, but I don't think anybody does super long cross countries that that 10 knots really matters. So that's why we built a big airplane, to be comfortable. That's, that's the idea, a big, comfortable, useful airplane. As I understand it, you're updating a, a Lycoming uh, IO 580s for 350 horsepower. You're available with either tri-gear or floats. 
And most important, it's you know major carbon fiber construction, so it's going to be beefier than a, you know what. Well, Jim, you've seen our airplanes over the years, and you know we build beefy, big, heavy, heavy airplanes, and that's what this is. It's going to weigh about 2,500 pounds empty. Yes, it's all carbon fiber. Yes, we'll put floats on it because we build floats as well, um, and we'll put the comp. Our new product is a is a wing in between the floats. To, to float the weight of the weight, float itself, weight, fly the weight of the weight, float itself. So we're going to incorporate that in this aircraft as well. Uh, tricycle gear and 580, we're going to have Lycoming build the engine and they, they'll build it up to 350 horsepower for us. So that's what we're going to plan on. That should be a screamer, 185 knots, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, well you can see it's a smooth airplane, it's it, it, all modern everything. Um, one of the newest airfoils NASA's come up with, so yeah, it works well. Now, <coughs> At this stage of the game, you're looking to fly the airplane this fall? Yes, I will, I, I will fly the airplane by the end of the year, and it will go to Lakeland. Even if I have to make a sacrifice, one of my guys, I mean, it's okay. I'm, I, I'm, willing, I'm willing to let that happen, you know. We'll be sure to let them know as well. <laughs> I've already told them. There you go. This is a big project for a builder. Are you looking at builder assistance and similar programs for the folks who want to get in the air without spending 10 years doing so? Yes, absolutely. What we'll have is a 30-day to taxi program. We're working on how to do all of 30 that. days for this monster? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It, 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 it's all the, You're doing the same thing, whether it's big or small. Mm -hmm. There's just bigger parts or more of them, but it's, it's, it's not really that much difference. And so we can do it in 30 days. Um, and of course, they have to buy the QEC, the engine and, and stuff all set up from us, but we'll do that. And if the, if the FAA announces their new, what is it, uh, experimental B category that will allow us to build, cu help custom build the airplane, then we'll do that as well. Because yes, it's a big airplane. And, and like moving some of the parts around, the wing is heavy. Um, it's about 400 pounds. Uh, fuselage weighs 252 pounds. So yeah, it's hard for one guy to kind of wrestle some of these parts around. So. What do you expect the availability to be down the line? How soon do you think you'll be in production? Well, the good news is that this airplane is built from production tooling. So we CNC everything. We built real production tooling this time. So we're, we'll, we'll be, as soon as the airplane is flying, we'll be able to start producing parts for other people. Outstanding. Costs? The kit is $195,000. Obviously, that's going to change because everything's going up. But that's the initial cost. And if you are careful with how you buy an engine and a prop and instruments, you could get into this airplane for about three and a quarter. Um, we know most of the customers are probably going to be in the $400,000 range because they're going to want you know, nicer air, a, in avionics and engines and stuff like that. So. It's going to be a screamer. Looking forward to seeing this get done. Well, you, you're going to get to fly it. So. Well, I've flown just about everything you've done here before. You have flown everything. No, I don't think you've flown this one, the float plane. we got to take care of that. You okay. need to fly floats. That works for me. That'd be fun. Ron, the, uh, the industry is changing, it's growing, it's adapting, it's been interesting to watch uh, as people start building aircraft that heretofore had to come from production uh, facilities and so forth because, let's face it, there wasn't a whole lot in the six-seater game and here we are now and you've actually got a little bit of competition out there in this size. Uh, do you see this to be the way things are going to go in the future? I think so, I, it, it, and I liken it to, to cars. You know, in the 60s we had big giant cars. We started buying a little itty bitty cars, and now we're going back to larger. Even the Japanese and the, and the, the Korean companies are building larger cars to accommodate us. And so I, I do believe aircraft will go the same way. I think airplanes are going to want bigger. People want bigger and bigger, more comfortable airplanes. That's that's how I see it. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it get done. I'm looking forward to flying it. We're looking forward to seeing it uh, taxi in at uh, Sun and Fun. But more important than anything else, if people are interested, how do they find out about it? Well, our website is compairaviation.com, and all the information you've ever wanted to know but were afraid to ask is on the website. So come on by. My personal email is ron at compairaviation.com. So... Give, you can email me or just go to the company's website. So for a hot time, call Ron. No. <laughs> well, that's 321. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's, it's, uh, it's looking like it's going to be a great bird. And so I understand it's wider than a 206? It is. This is 52 inches wide inside, so and it's about two feet longer inside than a 206 is. So it's my version of what I think a 206 should have been, is what I think. There you go. Ron Luck of Compare Aviation, thanks for spending some time with us at the Oshkosh Morning Brief. Thank you very much, Jim. I appreciate it. All righty, folks, we've got a pretty good day planned for uh, most of the afternoon, starting at about 14.30 uh, here at uh, Whitman Field. It's Innovations Day and Air Education and Training Command Day. It'll be led off with the National Anthem, 
Patriot Parachute Team. We're going to see some of the innovations uh, in the Air Show lineup, including Gamebird 1, the Airbus uh, Perland Project, an A330-900. Uh, the Warbirds of America are flying, Red Bull Air Force, Kent Peach. Uh, and there will, of course, be a marvelous U United States Air Force Heritage flight that includes uh, F-35s, MP-51s, and based on what we saw the day before, it's going to be glorious. We have big announcements coming up uh, throughout the day. We advise you to get on board and uh, watch Airborne when it comes up later on this evening. We have information on Aspen's uh, update to their company scenario and what they've done corporately as well as upgrades their product lines. TL Sport aircraft is evolving and has some uh, really interesting news about the aircraft that they're providing and how they're going to be covering North America. The Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo has big news today and more important, we're a part of it. So we're pretty excited about that. And again, we will be presenting uh, some exciting information about the scholarship program for the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation. I was uh, honored to take it over again uh, several weeks ago. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. We were fairly idle during the pandemic for a lot of different reasons, uh, mostly because of the loss of uh, one of our uh, more active board members, Tracy Forrest, and we miss him horribly. And for now, we're excited to get uh, the Legacy Foundation back on track. In the meantime, we suggest you all get out, go fly something, go look at an airplane, have a good time. Just enjoy Oshkosh and remember the people who got us here. Paul Poberesny, Tom Poberesny, thousands of volunteers, and so, so many more. Not to mention all the gang here at a who takes such joy in bringing it to you every single day. We will see you tomorrow at 0900 Central Time. This is the Oshkosh Morning Brief, and we're out of here because we're going to go play with airplanes.